Hello Facebook. Melissa is here. Hey guys. Yesterday's video, walking outside live, really freaked me out. <laughs> I felt weird and it really put me outside my comfort zone. So I figured, heck, that means I gotta do it again until I'm used to it. Oh look, the sidewalk ends. We're gonna go the opposite direction. <laughs> the opposite direction. Um, so what I wanna talk to you guys today about is a vice break. Does anybody know what I mean? Um, Darren Hardy actually talks about it in one of my favorite books that I've talked about a couple times now, The Compound Effect. And he basically talks about how we all have vices in our life. Um, it may be drinking wine at night. It may be smoking cigarettes. It might be smoking weed. It might be eating too many cheeseburgers, that nightly plate of ice cream that you might uh, succumb to. It might be... Um, you know, there's all types of vices out there. Comment below and let me know what one of yours is. Um, but what he talks about is the importance of taking a vice break. And what that means is for 30 days or about a month, he challenges himself to go without that particular vice. Whether it be a cigarette, whether it be a drink, uh, whether it be wine, a cheeseburger, carbs, sugar, whatever you feel like may be holding you back, take a break from it and challenge yourself to 30 days. If he can go without it for 30 days, he feels as though it's an okay vice to have in his life and it's not an addiction. If he cannot go 30 days without it, he considers it an addictive habit and needs to address that in its own way. So I thought that was really interesting and something I wanted to try out in my own life. I've recently done it this year with TV I found that to be a challenge at first, uh, but I was able to make it a full month. I watched like, I think two movies over the course of the month, but no TV. Um, I have done it with sugar. I've done cleanses before for uh, eating healthy. Um, I have done no carbs. I've done um, no dairy. And some of these challenges are really great at testing your willpower and um, also just making sure that these habits that you have in your life are not detrimental, that they're just simply a vice and not an addictive behavior. Oh look, <laughs> I'm not having very much success with where I'm walking. My sidewalk ends here too. Okay, so we're just gonna turn around. <laughs> as we keep talking. <laughs> the neighbors on this vlog are going to be like, who's this chick? But that's okay. So um, what are some of your challenges? What are some of the vices that you guys feel like you struggle with? One of the girls in my accountability group, um, Monday through Friday, she does no carbs and no sugar. I think that's a great challenge. And I think, you know, as long as you're able to really check yourself and that it doesn't become a daily need and um, habit. Ooh, coffee's a good one. Caffeine is another. I have another great friend who's cut out Coke. Um, Coca-Cola, not cocaine. <laughs> Coca-Cola uh, since the beginning of the year. And that's been such a challenge for her, but I'm so proud of her for accomplishing that goal. It's been enormous for her. And it's already been transforming her life. Um, so yeah, I would love to know what you guys think of the vice break. If you've ever done anything similar. I challenge myself all the time. It's it's really important to always kind of keep on your willpower and be uh, strengthening your willpower, making sure that you can sustain yourself and um, really stand strong in what you want to accomplish. Uh, kind of testing out your willpower with things like a vice break. Hey Jenna. Hey guys. It's so good to see all you guys in here. Jenna, Melanie. I miss you guys. Um, but yeah, so I challenge you to think about what your biggest vice is. For me, two years ago, it was sugar. And what I realized when I cut it out, it was really dramatic. I experienced almost like drug withdrawal sy sy uh, symptoms. It scared me. Um, I was like, holy crap, I was addicted to sugar. Because for about a week, I had the sweats. I had weird dreams about sugar. I was... Um, feeling as though I was detoxing from drugs and it was simply sugar. And sugar actually triggers your brain in the same way that drugs do. So for me, challenging myself to cut out sugar, I actually realized that it was such a detrimental part of my diet that I cut it out permanently. And now the only sugar that I have is in the form of fruit. And I can make amazingly delicious uh, desserts, ice creams, everything naturally with fruit. I also follow a no dairy diet. So I follow no sugar, no dairy, no gluten, no soy. That's me. 
Um, and I don't currently have, you know, very bad stomach issues the way I did a few years ago. But for me, challenging myself to those um, every day is really awesome because not only do I feel amazing with the healthy foods that I eat, it's a testament to my willpower. When I see cookies and cakes sitting around, I don't succumb to those. I usually have a healthy muffin or a piece of fruit in my bag, and that natural sugar is so much better. Um, so just I just wanted to kind of come to you guys with this interesting vice challenge. I would love to know if you have any vices in your life that um, are kind of that you feel maybe holding you back. Maybe it's drinking alcohol, maybe it's smoking cigarettes, uh, maybe it's having too much coffee during the day. Cut that out for 30 days and challenge yourself to do so and see how it goes. I would love to know about your experience. So hope you guys have an amazing weekend. It's another beautiful day here in San Diego to be taking this little walk up and down the same block <laughs> since my sidewalks end. But um, yeah, hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Love you.